Hey, what's up? Last time we were able to show this alert so a user can confirm if they want to re log out. So now let's go ahead and handle the logout when a user clicks OK. So, what we need to keep in mind is we are not going to be connecting to the backend to log out on a server. That's because we don't have an endpoint, at least for now. But if you had one, you want to make a request to the server. So, in our case, what we want to do is we want to clear a sync storage and also clear the context or reset it. So currently it is saying that maybe is logged in is true or we have the user in the async storage. So we want to be removing that. So to be able to change the state in the context, we want to have access to the auth dispatch. So here I'm going to be saying auth dispatch and then let's find a way of passing it down. So we can come here in our drawer. Here when we pass it like this, let's also make sure we pass the auth dispatch. We are going to select it, of course, from the global context. So just like we've been selecting normally, we're going to come over here. Since this is a component, we can be able to use our hooks. So let's import our global context. So that's going to give us our dispatch. We're already destructuring it. Now, when we do this, let's also expect it like this and also pass it. Close. So once we pass it, that means the side menu will receive it and we can destructure it in the side menu. So you can come over here. I guess we're already doing it. So when a user confirms here, we can now call the logout action. So we can, I'm going to call it logout user like that. Then we are going to now be passing the dispatch. So this is go ahead and create the action. So we're going to go to actions in context and also create logout user. So we only want to mind logout user. Let's go ahead and create it. So we're going to go over here. Make sure we are exporting it. So export const logout user. It's going to be anything. Logout user is fine. So here we don't want to dispatch this. Okay. We don't want to make any API call. So what we want to do is remove the token. So we could actually do remove item, then the token. And also remove item, remove item for the user. So let's do that. Let's also make sure doing remove item. Then we want to remove everything else. Now we can dispatch logout user so that we can be able to react to it and change the is logged in to false. So let me remove all this. We don't need the these parameters. So let's go ahead and handle this in the reducer. So in the reducers, we want to change the state. So you can come here and have case logout user, make sure it's imported. Then we want to return all this, but we want to change, we want to reset basically the, the state. So is logged in will be will turn to false like this. Now the data will be null. Okay. So when we come back here and log out. Let's say we click this and click OK. It should be able to log us out. But if it doesn't do that, that will mean that if we come to our navigation, where we are basically listening for which stacks to show, you notice that we show depending on the is logged in state or the is authenticated state. So we want this now to turn to false so that it returns this. So the only way it can turn to false is this is going to turn to false, of course. But how are we gonna know? This component is not currently listening to changes in the in is authenticate in is logged in. So what we want to do is add it as a dependency here. So mean that if this changes, we are gonna try to get user. So when we say get user, it's gonna come in here and it's gonna find out that there is no user. So it's gonna set loaded to true and also set it authenticated to false, meaning that when this is false, this then the code will come over here. This will now have turned to false and also this will have turned to false. So it's going to return. So it's going to return this side. Okay, so that's how I'm thinking of it. So I'm going to save and then click logout. So when I click logout, we have an issue. That's because we are not importing the, the action. 
so let's go to our side menu import our action property okay should be logout user save so it's authenticated let's set it to depend on the on the login set initially so let's have it in there then we can go ahead and remove this here and only depend on is authenticated so when we save you notice that it still works now we want to make sure when it changes of course we call get user so get user is gonna await for checking the user if we have a user then it's gonna set to true if we don't then it's gonna set to false okay so let's try again I'm gonna come over here try to log out then confirm so notice that now we are logged out. That's going to do it for now. In the next video, I'm going to come in and we work on this show hide password toggle. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.